I got super lucky today and got out of work a little bit early, which is great on a Friday. And today we're leaving for a nice three day weekend. It's Patrick's birthday this weekend. And I feel like we need a, a redo of our trip last year because we only stayed one night. We were supposed to stay two, but it was like super cold. And then it started sleeting and snowing. It was the only time it snowed last year was in the very beginning of the season. But uh, it's supposed to be beautiful this weekend, like almost close to the 70s, which is weird, but I'll take it. We decided to stay at the same park that we went to last year for Patrick's birthday because we really didn't get to fully explore everything and the weather wasn't great last year so we didn't get to do everything we wanted to. So we were going back to Allaire State Park and this time the village and the trains were going to be running so we wanted to see what that was all about. So I think we're in that same loop as last year, we just have to like go around. Yeah. Alright, we're in. That was probably one of the harder sites that we have ever had to back into. It's a really weird angle. The road is super narrow so you couldn't really turn that easily and uh, there's a big hole on the one side. I'll show you tomorrow. That was, that was tricky. <laughs> Much different from when we were here last year. I'm just starting to cook. I'm making this pre-made chicken fettuccine alfredo. Uh, let the the weekend of not eating healthy <laughs> begin. It's birthday weekend, so calories don't count. Redford's settled onto the bed. Pat is getting water, and I'm gonna get to cooking. This weekend last year, the campground was pretty much empty except for us and it was very cold and it started to snow and sleet on the second day. This year the sun was out, it was in the high 60s and we were outside in t-shirts, so completely different. And because the weather was nicer, the campground was also pretty much full, a lot more people than there were the year before, but we were really just happy to have one more super nice weekend to be outside and the fall colors were still pretty nice so it was a great weekend to get out with the camper. We uh, really haven't done much of anything today. We've just been relaxing at the campsite. It's about three o'clock right now, and we're actually about to eat for the first time today, which is kind of weird. But um, I made some chicken and ramen. It's so nice outside. I think we're just soaking it in and enjoying it. It's like the perfect temperature. The sun is out, the leaves are falling. It's so, so pretty right now. Let me show you the, the situation with trying to get into this campsite last night. There's our campsite. And then here's the little narrow road. And then when we were coming in last night, there was a car parked right here, almost into the road a little bit. He was very nice and actually moved his car for us. So we couldn't pull in here, because I don't know if you can see the giant hole. There's a giant hole all right here. This kind of drops off like a good six, seven inches. And the angle here was really sharp to pull around here. And I'm pretty sure we were supposed to pull in 
there. Um, but it was just too sharp an angle. We couldn't turn that far. So we actually had to back in between this tree and this stump right here through the leaves. And that allowed us to actually get the scamp on the other side of the picnic table. And it is super unlevel. We actually have the front jack like almost all the way down because the front was really high. We're on a good slope here. So there's the fire pit. We got really close, it actually worked out perfectly. And then there's the, the little cement block that you're actually supposed to park by is right there behind this tree. So this campsite just kind of confuses us. We're not really sure where we're supposed to be, but uh, after like six tries, Pat was able, able to finally get it into a, a workable spot. So not so bad once we got in, just a little bit of a challenge. We had our chicken and ramen noodles for a nice late lunch. And then Patrick decided that he wanted to go check out this local bakery. He found it online and it was just a few minutes drive down the road because we love to just see what local bakeries have. And since it's his birthday, it was all about doing what Patrick wanted to do. So we got ready to go check that out. Red. Watch the cord. We headed out to the bakery, and the area around Alaire is also really pretty. There are a lot of farms, and one of the other places we talked about stopping at was Asbury Park, because that's a pretty short ride from here. We didn't have time to do that, but we stopped at the bakery and got some tasty things and then we headed back to the campsite just in time to catch the end of sunset. Instead of cooking tonight we decided to do a, a snack tray because Patrick loves a good snack. So I cut up a bunch of vegetables. We have two different kinds of cheese there's a soft brie and some kind of herb cheese, crackers, salsa, this is a, a nice chili honey sauce that can go on top, stuffed olives, grapes, orange wedges, some assorted meats, and then the centerpiece are these slices of bread. We've got this beautiful loaf of bread at the bakery, and there might be some other treats coming up later for dessert. So I think what we're going to do is try to put a couple things together with the bread and toast it on the fire and see how it comes out. Hmm. Interesting. Super creamy. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. That's That'll interesting. <laughs> She's like, do you want powdered sugar on top? I'm like, yes. <laughs> of course. The first night using that extension on the bed in the scamp was definitely a success. I think we slept better because we had more room. Redford tends to stretch out and really take up a lot of space. And then for breakfast, I took some of that fresh bread that we got at the bakery yesterday and made toast. That was so good. I think last night was the best night of sleep I've ever gotten in the scamp. and. That is because this is the first weekend that we are using the bed extension and it's made a huge difference. Let me show you how it's put together. It makes the bed feel significantly larger, especially when Redford is here. He takes up a ton of room. He likes to sleep with his legs stretched out, <laughs> which really was making us uncomfortable when we were sleeping long ways like this with the pillows over there. 
Um, so this board that we put here goes from like right here at the wall out to here. So it adds just about two feet to the end. So instead we sleep this way with our head in the back and our feet out here. And you can really stretch out and I have some room on the side of me and Pat has some room on the side of him. And then Red has decided that he sleeps in the middle. We'll see if that continues. <laughs> the original plan was that Red was going to sleep on here or maybe over here in the corner, but he does not agree with that. <laughs> so we will see. But it's basically just this board that slides back underneath the rest of the bed to get it out of the way. The scamp cushions from the seat, which we were almost going to throw out, but then we decided to keep them when we figured out that we could use them for this bed extension. And then the seat cushion from the seat over oh. here that just kind of turns and goes over the top and then it makes the whole bed completely level and then I pull all the blankets and the sheet over to cover everything and it works great underneath the board we just have these three legs that velcro into place and then I unvelcro them throw all the bedding over the top move the cushions and then we have the extra space in the kitchen during the day so works really well the other thing that's worked out great is the cargo net. I secured that underneath with some hooks so that this stuff would all stay in place. And then I have this extra piece of string that I tied to the top of the cargo net to really hold it in the center. Nothing in here moved. Usually when we would get to wherever we were going, all of that stuff kind of shifted toward the floor. So solved that problem. All right, let me put the bed away because we're getting ready to actually do stuff today. The great thing about this little extension on the bed is that it's very quick to set it up and break it down. I just throw all the blankets back onto the bed and then I take the seat cushion that kind of levels it out and I move that back over to the side. I have to take the scamp seat cushions and pull them off of the wood. They're just kind of held in place by tension. We squish them in there so that they stay actually perfectly in that space. I unvelcro the three legs that are underneath the piece of wood that give it support. We had to find something strong enough that you could actually support your full body weight as you were climbing in and out of bed. And then I just push the board underneath the mattress and pull the sheets down and it's ready. With the scamp all set up for daytime use, we hopped in the Jeep and headed just a little bit down the road to where the historic Allaire Village is and they also have the Pine Creek Railroad. It was quite busy because the village was actually open, unlike the last time, but we'll show you that in the next video. Justice, the next president to be the news and watch hear your career. It's time for you to face those fears, and it's all fair to be aware and now be there. So don't be scared, just take a deep breath of air. And one, two, three to ten, you begin to focus again. And though time flies, we have enough to realize. Bigger than the both of us.